I met Blue after my nearly 16-year-old Beagle Mix died. I was devastated. I had lost a member of my family, and I needed a little bit of puppy love in my life. So like millions and millions of Americans do every year, I went on the website PetFinder.com, and I scrolled through all the beautiful pictures, and I landed on this gorgeous brown face, and I instantly fell in love with my little boy, Blue. Blue was a fantastic puppy, very sweet, very gentle, and very loving. But he had some personality quirks and a couple of very small health issues that made me think that perhaps something might have been wrong with his earliest weeks of life. So I got on the phone and I started making some calls and I eventually traced Blue's history from my home in New Jersey some 500 miles down to North Carolina where he had originated. I found out that Blue had been left in a shelter down there that has a 95% kill rate. You heard me correctly. The dogs who are left in the shelter where Blue was found, only one in 20 of them make it out alive. And even worse, I found out that a lot of them get killed in a gas chamber. This absolutely startled me, not only as Blue's mother, but also as an everyday dog lover. I'm a lifelong journalist, and I thought that I had some real front page news on my hands. So I spent the last year driving not only between New Jersey and North Carolina to find more about Blue's story, but also all over America to learn more about how Blue's story fits in with the bigger picture of what's happening with rescue. I discovered a lot of things. Some of them made me angry, like the fact that Americans are spending nearly 15 million tax dollars a year to support animal shelters that kill dogs like Blue in gas chambers. I did also find a lot of things that made me excited and made my heart filled with joy, like all the wonderful rescue groups who are really rising up in a grassroots movement to save dogs like Blue and get them adopted into wonderful, loving homes. These people are transporting dogs like Blue any way they can, by car, by RV, sometimes even by private plane, just to make sure that they don't end up in the situation where Blue found himself. Little Boy Blue is the result of all of the research that I did. It's a story that every dog lover, that every American taxpayer, that everyone who's ever thought about adopting a dog really needs to read and understand. It's a story that hopefully will fill your heart with joy, but that will also make you angry and want to create change. I'm a big believer in the idea that the way you make change is by shining a light on the truth. Little Boy Blue is a book that does that with a great deal of candor and also with a lot of love for a very special puppy who survived.